Good morning, everybody. I hope you're doing well. Thanks for being here with me. Let's tap right in and see what Storyline Spirit has for you this morning. Collective energy, please, Spirit. Collective energy. Storyline, would you like to share with the collective this morning, Spirit? Please and thank you. central energy in the central energy you've got the emperor rules power authority structure foundational disciplinary protection in the challenge position Challenge position, we have the lovers. <clears throat> Partnership, sexuality, strength of two together, a deep love, a choice. In the subconscious, We've got High Priestess in the reverse. Selfish and shallow, working with the team. In their recent post, The law of cause and effect. Intention and expectation. Moving on to calmer waters. Leaving it behind. In the near future. I don't even know. These flip flopped right out and went in the. <clears throat> there we go. In the near future, we've got the Four of Pentacles. In the upright. This is a solid foundation. A frugal foundation. So it's not, it's conservative. It's not, I don't see this as scarcity. I see this as frugal, conservative. It's not flashy. It's not pompous in any way.
the lens that's being looked through. The Nine of Pentacles and the Upright. Yeah, it's contentment, <laughs> self-sufficiency, and financial stability. And it's it. There's there's plenty. There's uh, there's there's a lot of stuff going on, but it's a frugal life, right? What was that word? So even though there is a lot of pentacles here, look at this this nice um, dress, you know, and there's still that interaction with the nature, with the animals. So there's that interconnection with life. intimate in the environment you've got the sun here a rebirth all is well celebration fun and joy hopes and fears The full new beginnings, innocent new beginnings, trustworthy, worthy of uh, faith. You may be weighing your options and the risk. And the thing that I like about that is, unlike the previous uh, cycle where everybody was just out there, you know, driving 100 miles an hour with, with no real care what the destination was or who they crashed into along the way, you know, there is um, consideration and attention uh, on um, the happiness, the, the, the conservative portion of it it's not out of control it's very purposeful and the outcome <laughs> nine of cups a wish come true So the emperor, uh, the only thing that I see going on here is the emperor dealing with this high priestess reversed and her team, his or her team, however you want to do that gender. But you've got a nine of pentacles and a nine of cups here with the sun and an optimistic new beginning and a conservative yet stable and secure foundation all your needs are met the queen of cut or queen of swords so there's the truth there's mental clarity clear boundaries against this kind of crap so you're setting your um, clear boundaries up there is the truth and um, and defeat for whoever it is that's trying to disrupt your nice foundation here. You're managing multiple priorities. Um, you're very generous with your wealth, whatever that is, whether it be um, monetary, whether it be love, 
whether it be in some sort of a service um, that you may be providing, a counseling or whatever that may be. You're very generous. And there's multiple priorities going on here. You're the star. Rejuvenation, renewal. And this high priestess reversed <clears throat> that's been working with their team. They're in a five of cups and an eight of cups. They're in sorrow. Um, they got to accept this disappointment. They're getting left behind. And it's time to celebrate. Those, um, these ones who were trying to uh, thwart your new, your new path and your um, experience here, they were trying to, they were betraying you and they could be in um, a consistent, I heard the other day, um, never ending war, never ending war. Never-ending burdens. Because that's what they were intending for you. That's what they've been bringing for you. And you're going to move on here in freedom and marriage. The Four of Wands. You're working hard. You're supported by um, uh, maternal. By It could be the Divine Mother. The... Um, As a collective, as a singular, however you want to look at that. But this this um, reunion is protected and supported. And it's a long-term investment that you've been uh, working for. Many people have been working for, it looks like, for this new cycle. Hard work, persevering through very tedious and sometimes painful circumstance. But you've been moving forward, you're properly prepared, and you're persevered through all of that. And you're releasing everything that was. All of this kind of stuff. You're releasing it. And you're moving on into your Ten of Cups. It's going to happen. That's that um, where there's a will, there's a way. People get caught up in the flash, you know, outside of themselves. And they fail to see the flash going off inside. They completely ignore it, reject it, choosing something else and rather be that. So it's kind of weird, but at the same time, it's really obvious. Invisible. The Emperor. Hmm. He could be um, reorganizing the structure, the foundational, the foundational structure. People may not see what's happening. But it's very disciplined and powerful. Challenges, the strength of two together. Harmony. Alignment.
perfect love. The ultimate goal. Perfect love. So his, in the subconscious, he's got this um, high priestess reversed energy, selfish, disconnected from source, um, and this team that they've been working with. Ignorant, shallow, selfish, harmful. Visitation in the rivers. It could be that they've been disconnected, this high priestess reversed, and their entire team have been disconnected. They can no longer visit. They can no longer astral travel. They can no longer remote view. They can no longer jump through your window and just waltz through your house unseen, spying and gathering evidence for whatever nefarious reasons. It could be that. We've got justice, the law of cause and effect, and the re, uh, recent past. Wise guy, no wise guy, no chicken. So somebody who is not a chicken is making sure that the wise guy is not here. Somebody's got a lot of courage. They are um, putting the, oh, what's her name? Um, skippity paps there's a what oh what's her handle anyway there's a tarot reader out there i really like her and and she says skippity paps anyway it looks like um somebody who's really courageous um has been enacting the law of cause and effect and undoing this wise guy um it, it could be that they the relationship is ending you're leaving that baggage behind i don't know where that baggage is going what trash bin it's going in but it's going somewhere for repurposing recycling i don't know lessons of a sort there's a transition it could be a transition uh for this wise guy into another um, circumstance in the near future there is a return to a solid and conservative foundation it's secure and it's frugal meaning it's not flash you don't you don't need any more than you need right it's like in the recent past, a lot, uh, not a lot, people call them the one percenters. You know, they um, they um, did <clears throat> nefarious practices here to suck spiritual inheritance out of unions so that they could have a flashy you know, large, grand, foundational system, but it was all built on fallacy. We're coming into frugality, which is conservative, um, you know, controlled atmosphere. It's not, this isn't an, this isn't a, a party and an F fest, you know, like what was previous, you know, like it was just all about pleasure, pleasure, you know, and it's not about that. This is serious business. There's purpose, there's discipline. And what that is, is even though you've got a nine of pentacles and a nine of cups and the sun is here, you got this beautiful new beginning, a frugal foundation is um, self-control. It's part of self-mastery. When you environ, you know, you control the environment within internally, and then you manage the environment without in a stable, conservative fashion, you know, that's not going to explode all over the place or cause damage or whatever. 
So anyway, um, yeah, you got your frugal conservative foundation here. Messenger. There may be a message. Saving money. Fruits of your labor, rewards, and then that is um, stability. And where was that? You actually had inheritance out here too. Yeah. Six of Pentacles and sharing generously. And you know what I like about the indigenous culture is um, wealth to them is having enough to share with others in a good way. And I like that, you know, potlucks and, um, you know, the gifting of little tiny presents, you know. Tribe, tribe. Mothers. Mothers. There's a rebirth. All is well. For your pathway, your compass. The sun is shining upon you on your pathway here. You've got the fool here, so there is innocent new beginnings. Optimism, wonder, and courage. And it's a new cycle, and it's so interesting that no matter no matter what kind of challenges um, you're represented with in life, you know, there is a facing it with courage. And then a releasing it. And then a continuation with renewed hope. It's, it's a cycle. Over and over and over again important so it's a new beginning um full of possibilities you may be seen as innocent and um important you've got this youthful uh charm about you and i'm not talking about you know intimate or anything or sexual or anything like that it's just just this intimate charm look at you you're about ready to just walk off that cliff you got a huge smile on your face regardless of this shallow ignorance that has been attacking you you're just moving on like it never even happened and you got your nine of cups here a wish come true because you're emotionally stable and they couldn't, they couldn't pull you down into selfish misery. And flash. They couldn't do it. We got remember in the reverse. You don't remember. You're not going to remember. It, the memory of this challenge will fade. gone you didn't do anything you're innocent 
this ancestry, there was an ancestors. Your ancestors may have played both sides of some loop. Yeah, playing around, driving, um, driving lives, driving minds, driving experiences with a knowledge that they had gained for entertainment. They martyred people for vanity, and it could be that the vein will be martyred and disconnected. This could be happening here and now. And those who self-care because they didn't have guardians or anybody to hold uh, space for them are coming into positions of service as they are. They're seen as leaders because they pulled themselves through atrocious, vicious attacks without any support without anybody to um, lean on, probably without a solid foundation. You managed yourself well. You are arcana. You are love. You are you, original and precious. There's no flash, there's no pomp, there's no, there's none of that greed, there's none of that vanity. You're walking around, what was that word? It started with a P. Presumptuous? It's not presumptuous. It has something to do with um, the opposite of vanity. Like, you're just not, you're just not, um, impressed by the need to formulate a certain perspective or a reef or an image that will gain a certain perspective you just present yourself as you are and it is what it is and you're not playing games this is life isn't a game for you it's not a competition over who's most popular it isn't that for you at all So the emperor's here. We've got invisible. Um, he may not be seen. He may be doing work behind the scenes regarding the foundational structure. Understanding came out in the rivers. It could be that he's making invisible those who lack understanding those who refuse to see your side of the story those who don't have empathy those who don't want to um cohabitate in a productive um respectful manner So you've got the challenges, the lovers, restoring the strength of two together, a deep love of perfection, harmony, harmonious relationships, harmonious relationships, full of empathy, conversation, he may see you as perfect. He may want to have a conversation with you if you're looking at the micro or if you're looking at the macro, whatever, however this resonates for you. This particular card tells me that he's um, challenged by this, um, by bringing this union together. He may see you as perfect, wants to have a conversation, but in the back of his mind, he's got this high priestess reversed. 
disconnected from their intuition, shallow, selfish, ignorant group of people um, who can no longer pay a visit to you. So it could be that they're not able to remote view or telepathically spy, um, listening. There's no mistakes. He's not making any mistakes. He's keeping this group away. They're this ignorant group of folks. Justice is being served, the law of cause and effects. He's, there's, he's no chicken, and he's um, flipping this wise guy around or removing the wise guy. Soul tie. You may be in. I always feel connected to you. He's delivering justice to the wise guy, to these people. There's a soul tie. And you can look at this however you want. You can look at this emperor as um, the divine son. You can look at him as your kingdom spouse. You could look at him as God. However you want to see that. They're always connected in a, in a soul connection. So, you know, a lot of these folks, um, they gave their soul away. They gave up the soul tie. But you didn't. And you're moving on here. There's a six of swords. So you're moving on. You're leaving all this baggage behind. You're just letting it go. Your relationship with these upside down people is over. Yeah, you're letting that go. Relationship with the third parties, with these um, liars and thieves and cheats and vicious folks, it's over. It's over. You're returning to a frugal foundation, a conservative lifestyle. And the nice thing about this is that um, the majority of people... Um, haven't even been, had that you know the majority of people haven't even had that because the wealth has been siphoned out of everything and distributed among the top tier of so-called leadership in this seen world so we've got a four of pentacles here there is a conservative solid foundation it's frugal um then we've got a messenger and we've got responsible We've got responsibilities in the reverse. So the way that this could be read now that we've got these three cards is that those who shirked responsibilities for family, for the foundation of the children and their well-being, are receiving a message that um, they are going to live a life of scarcity. The relationship with these third party enemies, partying all the time, effing around with whoever, not giving a crap about the children or their foundation or their future is ending. So that could be the way this is read now. You've got your nine of pentacles here. Financial stability for a tribe. Fruits of your labor. <clears throat> this tribe, it's a tribe of women here. It could be the mothers. The emperor is honoring um, the mothers. For the fruits of their labor. A reward. Forgiveness. Struggling to get over the past. It's been a hard road. We got the sun here. There's a rebirth. There's all as well for the compass, for the future pathway.
equal give and take. And I like this because um, the other day <clears throat> I received message, when we work together, um, when the people work together without prejudice, things get done. And I like that the sun is here. It's a rebirth. It's warm. It's celebratory. There is a pathway of reciprocity and equal give and take. And I like the um, different skin tones there because that tells me it's, it doesn't, there's no prejudice. It's a new innocent beginning full of um, opportunity and, um, you know, this blind faith. You're seen as important or this is important. We got a runner here. A runner doesn't want to run anymore. This could make it feel like, you know, another message that I received was the people will be given a life that they don't want to run away from. And it could be that this is what this is. This new innocent beginning, it's important that the runner doesn't want to run away anymore. A life that you don't want to run away from. We've got the nine of cups here. So it's a wish come true, emotional stability, contentment, satisfaction, and we've got remembrance in the reverse. So it's like the memory of this will fade the, and um, it won't pollute the new cycle. Shadow. You won't remember the shadow. You won't remember the dark times, the painful times, the suffering. It'll fade into joy, into this beautiful adventure. And the reward for your effort And there is forgiveness here. You're still trying to get, and I don't know who, who exactly that is for, you know? I mean, maybe it could be forgiveness for everybody. You know, the, um, the lack of prejudice, a return to <clears throat> recognizing the value in each other, mending the connections of separation. Yeah, those who are daydreaming about you don't know what to do about their secret habits. There's unfinished business here. They are unworthy of your love. You're still trying to heal. You're holding back. They're uh, 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 missed. You're holding back, which causes them a missed opportunity for a hopeful relationship with you. They're just a reflection. He uses sex as an escape route, and now they're going to be in solitary confinement while you are reunited with your um, soul tribe. These ones are really feeling the uh, absence of you because you are an irreplaceable person. Nobody, the way you love, can't be matched. And when it's gone, it's gone. Because they don't have it in them. And I don't know if they'll be able to generate it, you know. I mean, they're disconnected. I mean, sometimes I think they will because unfortunately, as you know, um, some of our greatest growth and uh, moments of self-understanding come in these horrid moments. But this person isn't having a horrid moment. They're just selfish and brutal. But if they have a horrid moment, they're going to understand. And it could very well be that they're getting the message that they're not responsible and they're going to have a, a, a life of uh, scarcity. Wild. 
Yeah, they're stuck in the dark. There's no light in them. There's no love in them. Struggle. Struggle. Respectful leader um, bringing stability to the structure. Restoring. Um, a template a formality, structure, discipline. He may not be visible or he's making those who lack understanding invisible. There won't be any struggle. He's removing struggle. This says you feel like you aren't being supported. If it's not a team effort, it's best to stand alone. So you're not standing alone. He's removing the struggle. He He's um, making it possible that people will be able to come together without prejudice in reciprocity. Man, he's removing the barriers that have kept everybody separated. The strength of two together, a deep love, um, you know, a harmonious union built on choice. without an ulterior motive look at that dark side your dark side keeps you from enjoying the love you have don't let it steal your joy so it, the deep love perfection he could see you as perfection he wants to have a conversation it could be that um these dark times have been stealing the joy out of people And that's a challenge. You got the high priestess reversed here. Ignorant and selfish and shallow. Working with a team. Who no longer can visit you. Or um, who, no, who can no longer visit you. Spy on you. Manipulate you. And there's no mistakes here. The emperor is like I'm not making any mistakes here. These ones are not going to pay any visits here. They're done messing around. He's removing the struggle that they are causing. He's, he's making invisible those who lack empathy or understanding for each other without prejudice, a willingness to um, be responsible with each other, with ourselves and each other. Justice is being served. He's not afraid here. This wise guy is being flipped all upside down. You're in a soul tie. Um, always connected to you. So this could be singular or plural. Take it however you want. It could be your kingdom spouse. It could be God himself. I don't know. Take it however it resonates. Broken. This wise guy didn't keep their promises. They broke your heart. But your spirit is still intact. They broke all their promises and now they're coming undone. The law of cause and effect is, is entering in their life and entering into yours here. You're always connected in this soul tie with this person who is not afraid, who is not, no chicken. This emperor is here, man, mixing it up. The relationship with these third parties is ending. The wise guy broke all their promises in all of their commitments and all of their um, vows, there is ferocity here. This is no light matter. This is very, very serious business. You won't be tangled with these third parties. The tangling, the, the embedding of them into the society the disregarding of vows, the intentional um, Jezebel attitude to go split up some happy home because they just want to see if they can and they do, that shit's going away. You're not going to be tangled up with that kind of environment anymore. So you won't have to worry about some Jezebel um, trying to lure the eye or the energy or the, you know, come try to have sex with your husband or your wife or whatever. You know, it's, you're not going to be tangled up with that anymore. Nope. 
The dark side has kept you from enjoying love. He, this is the challenge. He's undoing that. He's blocking this high priestess and her team from visiting you. He's not making any mistakes. They may be receiving a message that because of their lack of responsibility with the families, or with the children, they're going to have a life of scarcity. They're guilty of causing extreme emotional damage in this realm because they're so selfish. And they have no empathy. They don't care. They're empty vessels. They sold their soul. They don't have a soul tie with this emperor. They don't have this. The emperor is here on behalf of those he does have a soul tie with. Micro or macro, again, take it as you want. But justice is being served. These empty vessels, don't. they were not responsible for this. They were serving another god or another entity or whatever while they were stealing your um, love and um, really doing a lot of damage in the minds of the children and the mothers. So <clears throat> the lens here. You've got the fruits of your uh, labor are bringing you into a reward. Financial stability you have. It could be for a tribe, a new tribe. Somebody wants forgiveness here uh, for neglecting you. They got caught up in a whirlwind. It was a blind spot. Or it could just be that this tribe wants forgiveness. It could be this tribe who of empty vessels who was not responsible for family who are receiving the message that they're going to be living a life of scarcity. That it could be that there's a tribe that wants forgiveness, or it could be that the mothers are coming into reward, however that resonates. But it looks to me like there's a, a specific tribe, a historical family that was not responsible. They flipped themselves upside down and um, played in the dark side. They sold their soul they they're an empty vessel and then and they and they sold out their family they didn't give a shit about their family and now they want forgiveness for neglecting you you're the sun you've got your um your pathway here is one of reciprocity equal give and take without prejudice games playing at love but not serious about keeping it know what you want and be honest We'll have to get more clarification on that. You've got a brand new beginning. Blind faith. And it's important that you are... Um, entering a period, a life that you don't want to run away from. The runner no longer wants to run away. You are seen as important. You're going to get a, a beautiful um, opportunity here. Ending. This is ending. You're coming into your Nine of Cups here. It's a wish come true. Emotional stability. You're not going to remember this. The The memory of these shadowy um, the experiences is going to fade. <clears throat> Conquest. 
So you'll lose the memory of the shadows um, using love. Just another conquest. Just another notch in the headboard. Flighty little fanciful sexual endeavors, you know, that never equaled anything. You may have entered into it with love in your heart, expecting something, and it was always this from these shadowy characters who don't have a freaking soul. You're going to lose your memory of that. It's going to fade away. They're going to have a long road, or maybe you, yeah, they're going to have a long way to go, these third-party people. Everything around them is crumbling. Everything they built off of your energy, off of your pain, is crumbling. They don't know what to do because they're alone. Things are very, very hard right now. And it's got many flames. In a rabbit hole, they may be being haunted by all of the love that they betrayed and destroyed. They may be being haunted right now. Their life may be in um, shambles. They may be looking for an exit plan. You're leaving. Maybe you have an exit plan and you're leaving. They're feeling crushed. They need an exit plan because you're leaving. They don't want to stay here. You're not supporting them in this space anymore. And they're stuck there. You're leaving. And now they need an exit plan. It's like, oh, crap. Because, see, it was all fun and games while they were using your life force, your vitality to make it go. And now that they've lost out on that, how are they going to make it go? Now that they can't visit you, now that this wise guy who broke all their promises is being flipped upside down and receiving the law of cause and effect, the entanglement is being undone. You're no longer responsible for driving or, or being or powering up this charade that they've got going on. You're leaving it. The memory of it will fade. We do have games <clears throat> in the environment here. I'd like to get more clarification on. Abundant. You're an abundant, limitless being. Friendship. So the emperor is restoring um, rules, a stability for the structure, the foundational structure. It will be disciplined and controlled. This kind of crap isn't going to happen again. He's offering protection. Those who lack empathy are being made invisible. They're not going to have to deal with them anymore. The struggle is going away. You aren't going to feel like you're, you're unsupported anymore. You're going to have friends. Friends that um, are in your life for a reason. And not this dark side business. The struggle is that you won't have the struggling friendships anymore. It's the lovers here. So there's love. There's harmony. There is in the relationships. There, there's, it's a strong relationship. There's perfection here. He may have been um, watching from an invisible place, taking notes, um, and wanting to have a conversation with you. I want to call you and hear your voice. Challenged by this dark side that has kept them from enjoying the love. So the emperor has been in the same boat as you. This dark side has kept him from enjoying love too. He sees you as perfect. The perfect, valuable um, partner here. In the subconscious, there is a high priestess reverse. Selfish, um hidden agenda crapola with this teamwork of people they can't make visitations anymore it could be that they are no longer able to remote view or they're just no longer able to remote view you 
<clears throat> I mean, he could have stripped them from that opportunity to go and visit people's homes like astral travel. Maybe he took that um, power away from them, disconnected from intuition. I don't know, but there's no mistakes being made about that. He's dealing with this dark crap and he's serious about it. Yeah, the dark side. They're in regret for playing in the dark. They can't change the past. They can't change it. It, all, it, it. it. And the thing about it is, is it wasn't just one time, you know. It was like over and over and over again. It became like a habitual pattern. Generational curses became an habitual pattern. service service he's not making any mistakes he's providing a service here he's bringing everything back into harmony he's restoring um the sanctity of the home like i used to get and i still i i i it's trauma you know when you have dream lovers or you have people ask when you wake up and you hear people in your freaking bedroom talking about your essence or whatever it's just so disturbing you know, nobody needs that shit in their life. So it looks like they're making, he's making a, a, he's removing that opportunity from these people. The law of cause and effect is in order. Those who broke their promises, those wise guys, they're being flipped right upside down. I don't know what's going on. They're, they're going to be lonely. They didn't keep the promises they made. They're not worthy of connection with any kind of contracted um, union. There won't be those kinds of entanglements going away. He's here on behalf of those that he's in soul tie connection to. And that, to me, um, suggests that it is uh, the son. The, um, you know, I don't know if his name is actually Jesus. You know, I just know that there is an actual um, being who has all authority. And I believe he's here right now. Restoring control. Restoring balance. Eliminating the entanglement with these third-party evil people who wanted to... gen curse you for lifetime after lifetime after lifetime just so that they could i i don't know i don't know what but the entanglement's going away the relationship with that is ending because you possess gifts of the soul that benefit you and others and these third parties cannot tangle with you and take advantage of that anymore no you're not obligated to remain connected to that abuse. You are love. Those who lack responsibilities, those empty vessels, those who have no empathy, no love inside of them, they're receiving a message uh, that they're going to have a life of scarcity for their greed. Because balance is being restored. We're going back to a time of balance. And this crap is completely out of balance. It's out of control. There's no heart connection. There's no love. There's no care. There's no willingness to understand what it is they're even doing. You know, you're um, coming into your nine of pentacles here. The fruits of your labor have offered you a reward of financial stability here. It could be for the tribe of the, of the feminine, the divine mothers, or it could just be that you're coming into reward and this tribe is asking for your forgiveness because of their neglect. They got caught up in a whirlwind and didn't realize 
how out of control they were. You've got your freedom. You are free of them. You've got the sun energy here, positive, happy. You've got all of your vitality, your life force. All is well. You've got a pathway here of reciprocity, equal give and take. We've got games here. What's this games spirit? What is this games? What is this games? Growth. Growth. So you're the sun. You're coming into a rebirth. This is a new cycle, a new pathway. You've got your compass here. It's a pathway of reciprocity, equal give and take. The games of that people were playing with you about love offered you an opportunity to grow in, in consciousness and awareness. You have grown a lot. And it's unfortunate that a lot of times our greatest growth and expansion comes in um, these moments of challenge. Those extreme challenges that shatter our heart and our, and our, um, our love. And then we have to kind of gently put ourselves back together. And I don't know how many heart shatterings you went through or um, how many times you had to rebuild your foundation, but that's growth. And it's painful growth, very, very painful growth. But you're coming out of that as the sun. You're shining brightly. You're still innocent and pure. You never gave up. You never went into this raunchy mode, you know, of third party crap. You never went into it. So now you're getting a compass of equal give and take, having grown so much, you know the value of true commitment and fidelity and honoring that connection, right? That and being responsible within that unit and then within the community of units, right? This is very, very important. And you've learned a lot about the importance of that through the trials and errors of, um, these entanglements. And again, it's not just intimate relationships. It's, this is business partnerships. This is, you know, any kind of agreement, any kind of friendship that may have taken you for a ride and then called you for called you a fool. I went, I drove like three towns away or whatever to pick a gal up and then I gave her a ride somewhere and the person that she wanted me to take her to, they weren't home. So I had to take her back home and then I had to go all the way back home. And she looked at me, she turned her head and looked at me and she said, sucker. I couldn't believe it. That was the last time I did that. But some people are just like that, you know? It's incredibly shocking when it happens. But it does. So you've got a new beginning here. A, an innocent, um, beautiful uh, beginning that you can have faith in. That you can trust. Um, you are seen as important. or And it is important. That you know the runner no longer wants to run from the life that they're living. <clears throat> it's ending. That, that trial, that tribulation... It's ending and you're returning to um, happiness. Nine of Cups. Wish come true. The memory of the shadows... Um, 
using you as just another conquest, another notch in the headboard, breaking your heart, never committing, you know, um, infidelity, um, that kind of stuff. That's ending and the memory of it will fade. You persevered. You know that you can do whatever you set your mind to. You have been extremely challenged and you're still walking in love. And you have empathy. You have um, the ability to care. <clears throat> You're leaving behind all of this and they are worried. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do because you have successfully changed relationships. They want forgiveness for effing with your mind. They're afraid. They're afraid because you can accomplish anything you set your mind to. They're afraid of your discipline. They're afraid of your discipline. Third party whole bags don't know anything about discipline. They're just chaos running around. They're, a, they're in grief because they have to surrender their need to control. Or maybe they're surrendering their pride. Maybe their pride has been so damaged now that they just don't know what to think of themselves. While you are peace, love, and honesty. Calling judgment on this. With courage and purpose, this comes to an end. Patience, everything happens in divine order, and you're focusing on the lighter side of life because that's where the that's where the good energy is, right? That's where the most potent energy is. That's where, you know, when you're happy, when you're in this energy here, you're aware that being happy means that you're on the right path. You're, it's like everything is like on the up and up, right? And these, the envious ones, they have to accept the things that they cannot change. They envy you. I visualize a lot, well, not a lot, but frequently, uh, more frequently than some other thoughts, the Japanese um, technique of putting together um, china cups that are whatever, you know, that have been broken, and then they put them back together with gold, and they're so beautiful. And when I think of, you know, a heartbreak like this, and the, and the shattering, and, you know, um, all of that, I like to think of those cups and I like to think about um, people, you know, putting themselves back together. And when you get to know somebody who's been extremely um, challenged and um, shattered, and then you see how they put themselves back together and how beautiful they are, you know, it's like, it's a, it's a, you cannot get that kind of humility, that kind of empathy, that kind of gentle nature um, that cares very much without going through a shattering. And so it's weird to me 
that folks like this want to cause yet another shattering and then wear the energy as though they actually went through it when they were the cause of it the whole time. They never did the work to put it back together, but they want to pretend that they did, you know, and it's, it's coming to an end. And that's the thing, too, is that people who have um, been in uh, this energetic state of um, suppression for this length of time or any length of time, their focus is on healing and regeneration and, you know, mending the heart and the hurt and still being courageous enough to move in life with empathy, you know, not becoming a brutalizer, you know, to mend that, that hurt, that pain, and to still pour the love and the empathy and to care into the world, you know, and not become what it was that tried to destroy them. I mean, it's a real challenge. And anybody who succeeds in that, especially if they've gone through this kind of stuff over and over again, it's incredible um, to what kind of beauty they become. And you can't fake it. You, and you know you can't fake it because um, people who are walking around pretending that they did, they're usually flashy, you know, and uh, bling bling and oh, look at me and all this stuff. So it's... And people who have actually been broken and shattered and carefully and gently put themselves back together, they're not out there boasting about it. And they're not out there like, see my brokenness, how beautiful it is. They're not doing that, you know, but it is that which these ones want to appear as. It's weird. It's this weird kind of story. You were a gift to this tribe. And they lacked understanding. They want your forgiveness. So you were a gift to this tribe. They lacked understanding and they're being made invisible. They're being removed from your life. You're moving into a period of uh, friendships that isn't a struggle. They cannot cause struggle for your friendships anymore. They're being removed. They're being made invisible. They can't mess with you anymore. You've got the lovers here. The emperor's um, challenge is love and harmony brought back to a state of perfection. He may see you as such. He wants to call and hear your voice. Um, there is um, regret on this dark side. The dark side keeps you from enjoying the love you have. Don't let it steal you, S steal your joy. So this is a challenge. It could be that the dark side has kept people from enjoying the love that they have this tribe micro or macro they may have ruined your opportunity to have love or they on the macro you know as a collective uh, loving each other has been a very serious challenge it's it's so clear the dark side has kept us from enjoying the love that we have and we didn't let it steal our joy. They're in regret. They can't change the past. Apology. They want to apologize. Hmm. 
This says, I'm still not over what happened and would appreciate an apology. <laughs> it sounds to me like this emperor is like, you all owe love a big apology. You were in the, you used the dark side to keep people from enjoying the love they have. You tried to steal their joy. He's not over what happened and he would appreciate an apology. They're in regret. He's not messing around. In the, in the um, subconscious, we've got High Priestess Reverse working with a team. They no longer can make visitations to people's homes. This is like the tooth fairy or whatever, right? Hello, I'm here in the midnight hour to take what energy I choose, you know? And that's like the midnight energy harvesters or whatever. They were just freaking going crazy with it. It was ridiculous. And so now he's not making any mistakes with the services that he's providing here. He's cleaning this mess up and he's not messing around. And they're afraid of him. They're afraid of him. They should be. Health. I'm going to be part of your health and wellness journey. He's bringing this back to health, a healthy status. The love that we share with each other is going to be made healthy again, and he's not messing around. Anybody who um, is challenging this emperor right now is um, probably looking for instant recycling. into whatever circumstance he chooses. Obligation. There's no obligation here. They didn't honor their obligations. They didn't apologize. They're not sorry for what they did. They didn't keep their promises. They didn't take care of their obligations. They weren't sorry for what they did. This wise guy is going to get what he gave. This emperor you're in a soul tie with is not afraid. He's delivering justice here. All over this wise guy. Um, you are never alone. If you have your soul, you're connected to the most high. It's a soul tie. You know, and that's the thing about these, these third party, you know, magicians and whatnot, stealing memories and, um, identities and such. They could not take the soul tie unless you gave it up. And you didn't. You cried those tears. You felt that pain. You... Put yourself back together time and time again. Those people who were deliberately manipulating you, challenging your perceptions, getting you not to trust your own instincts. Making it so you couldn't even make heads or tails out of what was happening to you. They were messing with your mind so bad. That relationship is ending. You're no longer tangled up in that. You possess gifts of the soul that benefit you and others. And you're not obligated. There is no obligation to these people at all anymore. You have nothing to be sorry about.
you're leaving chaos. You're not tangled up in this anymore. You're moving on. Balance is being restored in your life. Those who are not responsible to families are receiving a message. These empty souls, empty vessels, I should say, soulless people, they gave up their soul. They gave up their soul and this was their goal to whatever the, the obligation they owed to whatever entity has their soul. So now um, they're going to be living a life of scarcity because um, you who have the love, who have the energy, who have the soul, who have the ties to the sacred, to the divine are leaving these ones behind with whoever it is that they gave their soul to. Big favor. Somebody may want assistance with something big. They may be homeless. They're suffering. They don't have, they're living a life of scarcity. They want to um, get a favor. They want to remain connected to try to gaslight you, to try to manipulate you. So they're going to try to ask a, fig, a big favor. Balance is being restored in your life. You've got freedom. You've got, you're coming into your, the fruits of your labor here. For enduring everything that you endured. For taking care of yourself. To the best of your ability, can, whatever circumstances you may have been in, you know, even if you were homeless, you know, doing whatever, I don't know. And I was at, 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 a, at a time in my life. So those of you who are coming into this have experienced extreme challenge and lack while being abused, while being gaslighted. People love to kick others when they're down, you know, so if you're seen as lacking, if you're like, if you're homeless then people are going to look at you like you're insufficient and they're just going to kick you, right? They're going to kick you. They're not going to help you. They're going to kick you. They're going to tell you how worthless you are. They're going to even make it worse for you because that's how they are programmed to behave. So you've got your freedom from this tribe. They want forgiveness for what they did. This could be a family or it could be the tribe of women. The divine mothers have gained their freedom and are coming out of this. You can look at it however you want. I think it is actually read both ways. I do believe that the divine mother is being freed in all of her aspects. And she's um, maybe she has received forgiveness. Whatever crime that these third-party hoe bags were, whatever energy manipulation that they were laying upon the mothers and making them being seen as something that was disrespectful to the family unit, I think that they're being forgiven for that. It's understood that the energies that these third-party little witches were um, doing, manipulating, you know, they'd siphon your energy, they'd dirty it up, and then they'd put it back on you. I know that's happened to me many times so many times and I know that's happened to others too the mothers especially and they've been treated badly but it could also be read that there's a tribe of um, relatives a family somebody who is in charge of overseeing um, fidelity and safety of the family unit for children I don't know maybe they're asking for forgiveness because they got into a blind spot. They didn't see this happening. They didn't know that selling their soul was going to, you know, cause all this drama. I don't know, whatever. Check in. 
again, it's a check-in. They want to check in and make sure that everything's going well. They want a big favor. They're going down. They're losing their money. Their their foundations is scarce. They're going into scarcity. Um, they're empty inside. They were siphoning off of you. They were feeding on your love. They were using your spiritual inheritance and gifts to get them through this while they were, they're nothing. They're an empty vessel. They gave up their soul a long time ago and they made commitments to entangle people for their spiritual inheritance, their love, their wealth, for entertainment. Don't check in. There's no checking in. There's a checking out. There's a checking out is what there is. You and all of your gifts of the soul that benefit yourself and others are checking out. You're taking all those beautiful gifts, all those services, and you're saying goodbye. You're the sun. You're the sunny disposition. All is well. You're going through a rebirth. Your camp, your compass, your pathway is one of reciprocity here. Equal give and take. People were playing at love. You in, in, in the environment, you've got games. There's people here, this tribe. They're trying to reconnect, okay? They're playing at love, but they're not being serious. There's no love in them. You have grown in consciousness and awareness because of it. You have expanded in a big way because of this. But that does not give them to right, the right to um, latch on and cause you further discomfort and trials, right? Just because you were able to put yourself back together doesn't mean they're, they get the credit for putting yourself back together, for expanding, for growing, for becoming more beautiful. That was all you in the face of brutality. And you're not even wanting revenge. And they can't take revenge out on you. They want to. They want revenge on you because you survived, because you're leaving, because you're taking the gifts of your soul that you still have connection to source with, and you're leaving. They can't take revenge on you. You're getting a new beginning. You're the. You're in the full energy here. Trustworthy, faithful important and it is important that you don't want to run anymore the fact that you know that you maybe you were running from your life from your experiences from this trauma from this mental um spirit just said insurgency i don't even know what that means and i don't have my phone so insurgency whatever that is but so you're gonna there's a there you're gonna get a life that you don't want to run away from. This is ending and you're moving into happiness. You've got the nine of cups here. It's a wish come true. And the memory of the shadow side playing you, just another notch in the headboard, is going to fade. You persevered through this. We got a few other cards here. <sighs> so finally, we have honesty here. I will be truthful and transparent in all interactions, even when it may be difficult. This is you. You may tell on yourself when you do something stupid. You may go confess it to the nearest person. Hey, I just did this. It was really stupid. You know, you may just put it out there. Honest and true in all circumstances, even when it isn't even necessary. And there, and these people who are negative, um, they are envious of that. They wanted to undermine your success as a means of elevating their own standing. They were hiding their true intentions and they don't actually care about your well-being. 
You persevered through this envy and through this negativity with honesty. They're going to fade. They already actually are. It is so freaking quiet. Oh, I'm so grateful. So we got gaslighting. They want to try to reconnect so they can deliberately manipulate your perception. They're envious. They're feeling very negative. They, um, there's something they're dying to share with you. They want to fight with you. About something that happened in the past. They want to pull you back into the past. They may want to date you or something. They may want to offer you a career, but you're uninterested. You're uninterested in this braggart. <laughs> Great news. You are an empathic person and you know that they're here to trick you. Perhaps you heard it through the grapevine that they were going to send an imposter. Well, it's, it's wrapping up. It is wrapping up. This will fade. Um, just be aware that the tribe who is um, losing everything, whether you know them or not, they may try to check in energetically. They, um, they may try to check in on the, in the fourth dimensional realm or the land of time or in the astral realms, however that um, is perceived by you. They may want to check in and ask a big favor to try to um, cord with you, to try to gain some spiritual corded connection so that they can then still maintain whatever they got going on in the 3D. I don't know. But this is this is ending. You're not you're gonna get a life that you don't want to run from anymore. The memory of this crap is gonna fade. You're no longer entangled with this third party crap. Leaving it behind. You are in a soul tie with an emperor who is not afraid to put all of this crap in the grave. Justice. I hope this clarified something that you already intuitively knew, and I'll see you on the next one, everybody. Bye.